you're listening to independent tv7 kindly click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel at independent tv7 also don't forget to click the bell icon to get more notification thanks for watching lawyer sues federal government orders for allegedly denying citizens access to court lagos lawyer and human rights activist chief Malcolm umi Hobo has sued the federal government and five others for allegedly denying lawyers and litig litigants access to the court during Kano's trial. Other respondents in the suit are the Attorney General of the Federation, the uh, Department of State Service DSS, the Nigerian Police, the Nigerian Army, the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, the Chief Judge of the Federal High Court, and the Chief Registrar of the Federal High Court. According to him, they allegedly delved into matters which they have neither the authority nor the competence for, which respects to the Kano's case. The applicants prayed the court to declare that the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth defendants, seventh, and or agent of the false defendants do not have the power under the law to deprive the plaintiff lawyers journalists and the nigerian public access to the court during the trial of kanu adding that the administration of the federal high court is the statutory duty and responsibility of the seventh defendant he also prayed the court to defend that the failure refusal and or neglect of the seventh defendants to make rules regulations issuing practice directive and procedure of the federal high court to enable the plaintiff lawyers journalists and the nigerian public access to the courts during the trial of namdekano is tantamount to the direct the relation of the duties and responsibility of the seventh and eighth defendant according to him kano has the presumption of innocence in his favor and therefore is entitled to a fair hearing in public and that the seventh defendant is empowered to make rules guidelines directives or law for the trial of namdi kano by visual live broadcast move than any of the trials to a bigger venue like the international conference center and the strain online he then pray the court for an order to restrain the first second third fourth fifth sixth defendants their servants agents and or previous from further depriving the plaintiff lawyers journalists and the general public access to the courts during the trial of namdekanu or any other high profile case in nigeria chief Malcolm also prayed the court for an injunction to restrain the second and third defendant from supporting and pastoral Nizing the use of the first defendants to carry out the primary duties and responsibilities of the Nigerian police force in maintaining the internal security, law and order in Nigeria without the backings of the law or without following due process and compliance with the law he prayed. In a 37th paragraph affidavit, this post by the chief Malcolm, he affirmed that on June 29, 2021, the trial of Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP for treasonable felony, resumed after four years and the case was adjourned to July 26, 2021. On July 26, 2021, Kanu case could not go on because the prosecution failed to produce him in court and consequently the case was adjourned to october 21st 2021 it came up with kano present in court and after proceeding for that day the case was subsequently adjourned to november 10 2021 he de he deposed he averred that on those three occasions the servants agents and or previous of the third and fourth defendants took over the premises and the adjoining road to main roads to the federal high court abuja blocking them and setting up barricades turning journalists lawyers and members of the public away from the surroundings of the court premises according to him they denied the lawyers 
litigants and um, journalists and members of the public access into the court premises and court room. Hmm. I think these people really deserve what they have gotten. Suing them or making so many allegations on these people is the best thing that reads them. Our Nigerian government really feels that they are above the law and they can do whatever it is that pleases them without anybody questioning them. Well, we all know that Buhari's government has nothing competent to offer anybody. Just imagine our own Attorney General of the Federation ridiculing himself up and down just like that. Well, shameless corrupt politician managing the affairs of the nation. God has exposed them through Namdekanu. No justice, no peace. Well, Nigerian government is lawless. They made the law, implemented the law, and they disobeyed the law with all impunity, malami, Chief Law Officer of a Nation, a Senior Advocate of Nigeria. <laughs> well, it's shameful though they are shameless. You shamelessly commit to public talking foolishly. <laughs> Just imagine. Continue suing the zombies in the helm of federal government affairs. They have plenty cases to answer, trying to control judiciary by illiterates. Okay, thank God for letting all Nigerians, especially the Sultanans, to know that House of Lani are the worst criminal, most wicked, and evil people in Nigeria, using the monster Buari. Well, we all have spoken well. Who's half ear? Let him hear. Look at the Kano, just one man has exposed the evil doings in Nigeria. Kano has exposed the incompetency in Nigeria judiciaries. Security personnel, House of Fulani, are the worst thing that ever happened to Nigeria. Everybody knows that except ones to play ignorance are the ones who are acting as if they don't know that these people have destroyed Nigeria completely to the core. There was no sufficient seats in the court to accommodate lawyers who have no case in the court. Oh, is that what you think? Hmm. Well, now wow, I never see this kind of secret court affairs when the whole world is watching. Okay, strange developments continue to emanate in the nation. Nigeria, where lawyers and journalists are denied access to courtroom for the reasons best known to the power holders. Hmm. Upon all this, Mr. President said he is traveling the whole world with borrow money in search of investors in lawless country. They are <laughs> just imagine who will want to invest in country and who will want to risk all of his money in a country like Nigeria. <laughs> Which investor is Buhari even talking about? Which investor wants to come to Nigeria with all this happening in Nigeria when they know very well that if anything should occur or if any case arises that they won't be able to even defend themselves because there is no law in Nigeria. <laughs> well, the issues against the evil government is good. Illiterate desktop them well my good lawyer congratulations may god bless you and give victory in jesus name okay, that is someone's prayer well as it is right now in the case of nigerian governments we all know there is no law in nigeria and when it comes to our to the general of the federation which is abubakar malami malami has destroyed nigeria to the core he is acting as if he is the president of nigeria and the president is not on seat <laughs> only god knows what game they are all playing with we Nigerians. Or well, you can go to the comment section and share your take on this article. Thanks for listening.